to an episode of uh, Coffee with Dave. I'm Dave, and this, this is filled with coffee. Very, very hot coffee. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? Because I always have something for you guys. All right, today we are going to be talking about what's called the Pareto Principle. Or the 80-20 principle and how we can use that to make ourselves more productive more efficient more better yeah that was grammar all right so first we're gonna define what that is all right and for that we're gonna go to an article so there's gonna be a little bit of a dissolve here so let's go to that All right, so this article is titled, How You Can Apply the 80-20 Rule in Your Life and Work. We're just gonna skim through this. All right, the 80-20 rule is also known as the Pareto Principle or the Law of the Vital Few, which basically means that in many events, 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. The Pareto Principle name comes from the Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, who discovered the principle after realizing that approximately 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the population, and he kept observing the same pattern in other different situations. All right, that's the background of it. The Pareto Principle, or 80-20 rule, is the universal truth about the imbalance of inputs and outputs. You don't need to create mathematical formulas, do some complex math, or understand stats to leverage the 80-20 framework and start using it in your daily work. Let's also keep in mind that the 80% and 20% are just indicators. It's a misconception that the numbers should always be around 80 and 20. They do not necessarily need to. These numbers are just a baseline. So mathematically, the 80-20 rule is followed by a power law distribution for a particular set of parameters. That sounds complicated. All right, so here's some examples. 80% of problems originate from 20% of projects. 60% of your distractions come from 40% of sources. 70% of customers only use 30% of software features. 90% of complaints are made by 10% of users. 80% of value is achieved with the first 20% of effort. 85% of the important conversations are from 15% of the emails. All right, so, and these are the steps to apply the 80-20 rule. Identify all of your daily and weekly tasks. Identify those tasks that are key. And what are the tasks that give you more return? The bigger bang for your buck. Brainstorm how you can reduce or transfer the tasks that give you less return. Create a plan to do more that brings you more value. Use 80-20 to prioritize any project you're working on, and set a plan to focus on activities that produce the most results. All right, so, how to set goals based on the 80-20 rule, which is a really fun activity, and I encourage all of you to do it. Find out what your 20% is that's giving you 80% of the return. It's now at drinkable level. All right, cool. All right, so identify your key tasks based on your goals. What's blocking you? Make a list of your constraints. What's standing in the way of your priorities? Together with your team, come up with a plan to unblock. Take this opportunity to clarify the goals and visions with your cross-functional team. This is also an opportunity to collect feedback. Clarify and unblock. More clarity will help you and your team have a better vision of your goals and what you need to do in order to achieve those goals. Removing the impediments open the door to more focus. Keep in mind that we want to maximize the value of focusing on tasks that will give you more return. Use the 80-20 framework. After you have evaluated your goals and tasks using the 80-20 framework, it's so much easier to focus on the right things. Since you'll be focusing on what will bring you more value, you'll start to see the results faster. 
This can also be another incentive to continue to focus on what matters the most. Four, work smarter. This should be a constant basis in our daily lives. Evaluate, prioritize, focus, and continuously work. Don't be discouraged, work smarter, and help your team to work towards their goals. So we're gonna go back that they're dissolved. All right, so let's put it another way. This is what the expectation is. You expect 20% of your input to be 20% of your output, but that's not true. What we actually see is that 20% of your input is around 80% of your output. So let's break this down. So 20% roughly of what you do your daily tasks go towards 80% of your output. That other 80% that you do only go towards 20. And uh, to bring it further, 20% um, of our customers bring in about 80% of our revenue, 20% of our technicians bring in 80% of our sales, so, and on and on. So, what can you do to make that 20% better, to get a better result, is to focus on your strengths and increase that 20%. Strengthen your 20% of what you do that gives you the best results and then eventually that will turn into 10% of your inputs giving 90% and so on and so forth. And you can eliminate that little bit that you do that doesn't really accomplish anything, right? The vast majority of what we do accomplishes nothing in the long term. It's busy work. It's stuff that doesn't move you or the company forward. So that's it, that's the Pareto Principle. And you can use it to make business decisions, personal decisions, anything. So that's what it is. And with that, finish your coffee. We'll see you next time.